Let's find the area. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. The radius here is given as 5. Pi times 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, is pi 25, or better to say, 25 pi. Number 2. In this case, we have a wide triangle. Now be careful. The base, the base is actually equals to 3 plus 7, which is 10. So don't be confused by all the numbers. Base times height divided by 2 is the area of a triangle. So the base, I recommend that you go all the way across, which is going to be 10. And the height is not 5, the height is 4. The height is a perpendicular height. Imagine measuring your height. Would you lean sideways or would you stand up tall? Stand up tall. Base times height divided by 2. So the answer is 10 times 4 is 40. Divide by 2, which is 20. It's going to be 20 units squared. And the previous example would also be units squared. Another way of doing this is to do each triangle separately. So if I were to focus on the left triangle here, base would be 3, height would be 4, and then you can add it with this other triangle here on the right. The base would be 7 and the height would be 4. So you can either do it two separate questions or you can do it in one shot, which is arguably faster. Another type of triangle is one that's leaning. What a strange leaning yellow triangle we have here. So the base is the part that's actually touching the bottom. Imagine there's grass here. There's, there's, this is a grass field. And the base is only 10, not 13. This here is hollow. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, which is going to be 10, the part that's actually touching the bottom. And the height is the perpendicular height. Please don't stand leaning. You might fall. So if this was a 3, 4, 5, the actual perpendicular height, even though it's not touching the triangle, is going to be 4. So again, the area is going to be 10 times 4, which is 40, divided by 2, which is 20.